Love really makes the world go round. But let's be honest here, it's pretty hard to love everything and anything. Or, you know, just anyone around us in general. While I believe we should always make an effort to keep peace and harmony wherever we go, where nature has shown us that even animals have a hard time getting along. At least, sometimes. Number 3. Polar Bears and Walruses Now, before we get to the top of our list, let's check out one of the coldest parts of the world, the Arctic. This is where our next pair of animals live. I'm talking about the polar bear and the walrus, two of the most powerful animals out there. So it comes as no surprise that conflict might arise any time between the two of these when they find themselves in front of each other. Polar bears are in fact considered the kings and queens of the Arctic, but walruses are three times larger than them. And still, polar bears attack them. That's actually just insane because we've seen stuff like packs of lions and other predators kill victims that are larger than them in the African savanna. But the big difference there is that they do the hunting in groups, while polar bears hunt alone. They must be very brave to come after an animal that's so big. The walrus's natural instinct is to flee, but if a predator is messing with one of their little ones or if they get cornered, their instincts will make them fight and inflict damage on the threatening animal chasing after them. For that very obvious reason, polar bears and walruses cannot be friends. Sorry, everybody. The picture I have for you today is of a mongoose and a cobra. Are they someone's pet or are they in the wild? I mean, where on earth could you find these two animals in the same spot? Well, let's have a look. Number two. Mongoose and Cobra It takes a very smart, agile, and brave animal to face a poisonous creature like the Cobra. And that's why the Indian Grey Mongoose and the Cobra don't get along, because this kind of mongoose has the perfect skills to face such a threatening animal. Best of all, this mongoose is immune to the Cobra's venom. The snake can hiss for as long as it wants, but that will not make the mongoose step away. While they're both fit for a fight, the chances of them messing with each other are actually quite low. However, none of them will have a problem fighting each other for food if both of them set their eyes on the same meal. The mongoose is stronger and agile, but a bite of the cobra can slow the competitor down, even if the venom doesn't have any effect on them. So who would win in a fight between these two? That's a little hard to determine, and it really depends on how each animal uses its skill. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe, within the next five seconds you'll get 10 years of amazing luck just try it it really works now for number one cheetahs and baboons who in their right mind would mess with a cheetah the fastest animal in the world well to answer that that would be the baboon there's even evidence of one of these brave primates coming to the rescue of a gazelle that was being attacked by a cheetah and there's also another case in which a group of baboons chased a group of cheetahs that were drinking from a water hole that had already been claimed by these aggressive primates. I'm gonna take a guess here and say that the baboons don't like the cheetahs at all, and I would also say that the feeling is mutual. I wouldn't like to be the fastest predator out there and still have to run for my life because of some baboons. And that's all for today, everybody. What did you think of the animals presented? Was there any interaction that surprised you? Did any of this info help you make choices regarding the way you pair up your pets? Let us know in the comments section below. And with all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.